Well, hey y'all, welcome to Throttle Power. Have I got the coolest build I have ever done to show you. I think you're gonna like it. Remember the movie Animal House? The Deathmobile? The float during the parade? The Eat Me Cake? Oh, great movie, great, great movie. One of my favorite movies. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen the movie, if you like the movie, if you've ever lived that life for a while too in the sorority. <laughs> <laughs> secret secrets anyway let's get the camera turned around i'll show you the build of the deathmobile from animal house and the float that i hundred percent scratch built this thing's awesome you're not going to want to miss it started off with a jimmy flintstone resin body jimmy offers all kinds of cool stuff in resin you have to check out what all he has this was a fun fun build um, i added the correct front bumper that you saw in the movie Another thing that I did to this resin body is I opened up the turret. There it's not opened yet. There it's open. I'm getting everything mocked up. The thing just, just come together wonderful. I think this is one of his better resin pieces. I didn't have to do much to it, but basically change the tires and wheels and add the front bumper and open up the turret. Ah, there I'm painting a pewter head that comes with the model also that Jimmy offers. And there it's finished. Pretty cool, I thought. I love this movie. Just a fun, fun movie. Actually, this car uh, started life as a 1964 Continental. George Barris designed it and made it for the movie, for Animal House. The head, which is the hood ornament, is, a Mel Faber, is from a Mel Faber statue who was the founder of the school in Animal House. This thing was fun. You take this to a show and, and everyone loves it too. And of course everyone can relate to it. Well, now that I got this done, it was time to start on the float. And what I did is I laid it on paper to get my dimensions and basically just started cutting paper and putting everything together with paper first. And then once I had all my paper templates made, I started getting plastic out. And I used a lot of uh, 20 thousandths and 30 thousandths sheet plastic. I'd use 30 thousandths sheet plastic for the tops and probably I think I used 20 thousandths for the sides. There's some 30 thousandths plastic that I used. I like to use those triangles for the straight edges also. Yeah, that's 30 thousandths. Plastistruck offers all, all kinds of cool shapes and sizes, anything plastic you need. I highly recommend that company. And there's the float together. Like I said, everything was uh, made out of uh, plastic. 20 thousandths, 30 thousandths. The inside is reinforced with uh, plastic strips that I cut. Candles was just plastic tubing. And here's a picture of the real float in the movie. Of course, that's what I'm going after. But what stalled this project for so long was to come up with the material to look like float. And I found what you call pipe cleaners. And I bought tons of pipe cleaners in red and white, started cutting them down to a manageable size. There I've got some cut. That wasn't even a, a tenth of what I cut. I cut hundreds of those. And then once I got them all cut, then I started cutting off the material that was on the pipe cleaner. Just running scissors along the metal rod inside that pipe cleaner piece and getting all that stuff cut off so I could use that to sprinkle onto the float. There's some more cutting pictures. I got probably a week in cutting that stuff. And there it is going on and I, I guess I cut red and I cut white. All that red you see there is uh, from red pipe cleaner that I um, laced into that. There's the candles I'm working on. 
And in order to get that fringe that you see, I just uh, started cutting strips as close as I can to make fringe. There's the candles all done. I ran some brass rod into the candles so they would go into the top of the float and hold a whole lot easier. There I've got a little weight on the top piece to glue it on. The float's about done. There's a close up. And yes, this float is designed to go on top of the deathmobile. And there's the finished float. I thought it'd come out pretty good. I was real happy with this project. Been in the making for quite a while. Like I said, what took the longest on this float uh, had been put up for a long time was trying to find the correct material to cover the float with. I used all kinds of different stuff and nothing was really looking good. And I really like the looks of this pipe cleaner that I stripped and cut. Yeah, I even have a hatch on the top that opens up to where they would get in and out. Here's, there, there shows the uh, float will go on and off the car. Man, was that thing cool or what? You want to see more great builds? Hit that subscribe button. I've got more great stuff on the way that you're not going to want to miss. We'll see you on the next episode on Throttle Power.